Okay, a very good morning and warm welcome to episode 18 of Golden Hillock School's Golden Moments. Uh, this morning we've come over to the English block and in fact to what we call the mezzanine floor. This is a specially designed new part of our building, although it's within an old framework, where we have students who are going to talk about a spelling bee competition they've been doing. Um, this is something we've been doing in year seven and indeed in year eight as well to promote literacy and a love of language. And it gives me great pleasure now to hand over to Mr. Maxwell, who's going to talk a little bit about the spelling bee and then he'll be introducing some of the students and they'll be saying what they've done within this spelling bee competition. Good morning, my name is Mr. Maxwell and I'm here with the Golden Hillock Spelling Bee Competition students who achieved higher than 25 out of 30 on their recent spelling bee test. Some of these students have achieved 30 out of 30 and I'm here to find out what technique they use to do well on their spelling bee test. I'd like to start off with Jawaria Bibi who is one of our top scorers. In fact, Jawaria scored 30 out of 30 on your spelling bee test. What was it, 29 out of 30? 28 out of 30, that's still pretty good. Good morning, Jawaria. How are you today? Would you share uh, some of the strategies and techniques you use to do well on your spelling bee? Um, uh, I'll go for a day and ask someone in the world, my mom and dad to test me. Um, first time, then, then they test me on all of them, and um, then randomly pick Okay, so you're fat. you asked mom and dad to give you a hand and you randomly chose words to help you. That's fantastic. Hi, uh, how are you doing this morning? Good. Very good. I'd like to know what strategies you use on your spelling bee test to do so well. Well, in the Christmas holidays, um, I learn uh, six or seven words uh, in the morning and then at the end of the day, I tell my brother to test me. Okay, fantastic. Well done. Good morning, Mohammed. How are you this morning? Excited. Sir. Excellent. I want to know what strategies you use on your spelling bee test. Because I'm sure all the other year sevens want to know how they can do as well as you. Okay, the strategies that I use is early in the morning, like 7 30 or 8 30, I would get up in the morning, go and get a piece of paper and pen, check all my spelling, revise it for like 10 minutes, all 50 of them, and write it all down. And at the end, I would mark them all, check how much I got. Wow, that is an incredible strategy. Did you guys hear that? I hope you're listening because that shows your dedication. And not only that, it shows that you had a technique which worked for you. And I think that some uh, other students who didn't do as well as you did will be able to use the same strategy and do well. Thank you so much for sharing, Mohammed. Good morning, Amir. How are you doing today? Excellent. Thanks for participating in the Spelling Bee Golden Moment uh, today. I would like to know, uh, do you use, have you used any of these words that are on your spelling bee in any of your lessons? Yes, I've used it in maths, especially um, when we're working on circumference, as circumference is in the spelling bee test. Oh, fantastic. Well done. Good morning, Ali. How are you this morning? Very well, sir. Thank you for participating in the Golden Moment Spelling Bee uh, you know, revision here. I want to know, uh, what were some of the strategies you used? Uh, sorry, not strategies. Uh, where have you used these words before in other classes? Um, I used um, extract in English as we were um, reading an extract from a writing. Oh, fantastic. Well done. Any other words came up for you? No. Okay. Thank you very much. Good I'm morning, so Alicia. How are you this morning? Fantastic. I'm so glad you're participating in the Spelling Bee, uh, Golden Moment Spelling Bee um, revision. I want to know from you, um, have your writing improved since you've been doing the Spelling Bee uh, in school? I think my writing has improved um, because every, over the Christmas holidays, I used to revise every single word of my sister, especially my parents, and then over, on Saturday and Sundays, I used to get my spellings and then write at least two or three paragraphs for half an hour explaining um, how I use these words. Very good. Was that your idea or did your parents tell you to do that? 
that's brilliant. It's nice when parents get involved and help us with our spelling bee words. I, and to those people who are watching this video, all the students who are watching this video, that's one thing you could do. Ask mom and dad to give you a hand, or your brother or sister, to help you learn the words, because that is going to make it more fun and much easier. Thank you so much, Alicia. So there you have it. Students have really benefited from the opportunity to take part in a fun competition. It's stretched their use of language. It's clearly consolidated their ability to spell quite complex and difficult words. And the fact they've been able to apply this, not just to their English studies, but in other subjects, and indeed also use in everyday life, shows the value of this competition. So that's it for this week's Golden Moments, but we look forward to joining you again next Friday. Thank you.